Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we will be analyzing the company NVIDIA to see if it could be a potentially good opportunity of investment or not. Especially whether this continue to be a good investment despite the current stock prices, which as we can see in the graph in the screen, during the past years it has seen an incredible run up with an increase since the beginning of this year of 118.21%. And that's just looking at this year, but looking at just 5 years ago, the price has increased in 1567.76%. But I don't want to advance too many things because we will be going into that at a later stage of the video. And now before we go into that, I just want to briefly give an overview of what will be discussed in this video. So first we'll have an overview of what is it that Nvidia does, the different products and services it offers. Afterwards we'll be going into the stock, followed by the financials, the recent ones that they just recently published. And afterwards I will be giving my personal opinion on the stock, on whether I think that it's a buy right now or not. But with that said, let's go for it. Nvidia was founded in 1993 and is directed by one of its founders and current CEO, Jensen Huang. The company initially started focusing on chips and processors, but is currently into much more than just that. In fact, if I had to briefly summarize what they are in, I would say that they are a very big player when it comes to artificial intelligence being applied to many different industries. These industries, just to give a bit of an overview, are gaming, data centers, professional visualization, automotive, among others, but let's go more in depth into that and see exactly what is it that they do in each of these industries. In terms of gaming, it is at the top of the game selling GPU, so graphic processor units that are the best ones out there. And in fact, they recently released the GeForce RTX 330, sorry, which is a GPU that performs two times better than the previous generation. As for professional visualization, they partner and provide services within 3D and graphic design mostly. Then there are the data centers, which this is a division that NVIDIA has managed to grow a lot thanks to its acquisition this past April of the company Mellanox. And in case you're wondering what does Mellanox do, uh, to put it in a simple way, they are also into artificial intelligence and high performance computing and provide different solutions for specifically data centers and specifically to make them more efficient. Next we have the automotive industry in which they design and produce artificial intelligence technology for cars. And more specifically here, I think that the thing to highlight is the autonomous driving as they are also working, uh, same as Tesla, on having vehicles that drive themselves and hopefully they do a better job than us humans do currently. On that actually they recently announced partnerships with Mercedes-Benz as well as Hyundai in order to provide the informatic systems within the car and hopefully also be able to introduce in a few years time autonomous driving within those. Finally, the artificial intelligence is also being applied to other industries such as for instance healthcare but the ones that I mentioned so far are the most relevant ones. And although if you're not in the space, Nvidia might not be a very recognizable brand it actually serves many world-class brands such as for instance Ford, Alibaba, Microsoft, Domino's or Samsung among others. But before we end this part of introduction, something also relevant to mention is that this past September 13th they announced that they would be acquiring the company Arm for 40 billion dollars. Which if you had never heard of it before like me, it creates chips as well as software solutions also focused on artificial intelligence like NVIDIA. This is actually not yet confirmed and in fact the UK government is trying to block the operation as ARM is a UK company. I mean let's see how these discussions go. According to NVIDIA they should do the merge on 2022 so still a long way to go uh, but if this were to become a reality it would create one of the leading computing companies especially towards the age of artificial intelligence. Alright, so now that we know what is it that NVIDIA does, I think that it's time to go and move into the stock. So NVIDIA is trading under the ticker symbol NWDA in the Nasdaq index and at the moment of recording this video, each stock is worth 523.51 US dollars. This, as we have just seen at the beginning of the video, represents an increase of more than 100% during this year. Not only this, but also historically speaking, it has been an incredibly good investment. Considering that in 1999, when it started trading in the stock market, each stock was worth 1.64 US dollars, it means that its price has multiplied by almost 320 times. The company though, although in my eyes it is a clear growth stock, it also has the advantage that it pays dividend. 
The dividend yield is honestly speaking very low as it is only at 0.12% yield at the current prices but it's also important to note that its payout ratio based on this past quarter results is only of 7.55% which means that they are paying almost nothing of their profits and they still have a lot of room for growth. In any case, as we have seen, they seem to be more focused on acquiring other companies rather than focusing on trying to pay shareholders more money, which to be honest, I find it perfectly fine and I think that the strategy is working very well so far. So stock-wise, we see it has been performing extremely well, but now let's go into the financials and the results of this quarter to, as always, get a better picture. On this section, we will first start with comparing the revenues that they got this quarter versus the previous ones and also by sections. Starting with gaming, we see that this is doing great and has been gradually increasing since the fiscal year 2019. Professional visualization instead is pretty stagnated and does not seem to be growing much. Data centers though have really grown a lot, especially as we said before also thanks to the acquisition of Mellanox. Then we have the automobilistic, which although they are currently stagnated, I could easily see them taking off if autonomous driving becomes a reality. Finally, we have other revenues from other industries or products that also seem to be on the rise. Overall though, revenues keep following a very interesting uptrend. Focusing now on the income statement for this quarter, we see total revenues of $4.7 billion and a final net profit of $1.3 billion, which are 57% and 49% higher respectively year over year. And for a company of this size, this is some substantial growth. Moving on to the balance sheet and comparing the assets with the liabilities, we see that they have a debt ratio of 42.96%, which is extremely conservative. Moreover, they hold an incredible $10.1 billion in cash or equivalents, which is essentially 37.71% of all the assets they have. Not sure if this is because they were keeping the cash to make the acquisition of ARM, but it is certainly a lot of money sitting on the sidelines. Alright, so after everything that we have seen so far, it is time now for me to give my opinion on the company. And on that, I must say that I really like it. Although I am certainly not an expert in the technicalities of the field, I do see the future potential of artificial intelligence and how this will become a larger and larger part of our lives. Moreover, as we have seen, they are quite diversified when it comes to industries with uh, data centers, automotive, of course gaming, professional visualization, that I think that all of them have a very bright future. Personally, I own one share of NVIDIA at an average buying price of $511.8 and it's important to mention that I'm going into NVIDIA with a long-term investor perspective because as we will see now, going into the price to earnings ratio, it is pretty high. At the moment, it is at 125 times earnings, while on average it has been trading at 30 times earnings. Yes, this is a demanding ratio, but considering the acquisitions it has done, the potential acquisition of ARM, as well as the future of the industry they are in, I do not think that it is extremely exaggerated. Especially if we compare it with Tesla, which is actually also competing with Nvidia in the part of automated vehicles, but that is trading at a price to earnings ratio of 400 times. Anyways, talking about an entry point, we see a clear support around $500 uh, per share, which could present us with a good opportunity. Nevertheless, please remember that everything that I share in this video are just my personal opinions, my thoughts, and that you should always do your own research whenever investing in this or any stock. In any case, that was it for today. What are your thoughts on NVIDIA? Do you like the company? Do you think it's really overvalued? Or do you still think that it's a good buy at the current prices? Please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then please make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. And as always, see you next time.